Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help and guys this is another video tutorial on MongoDB. Yes, in this video tutorial we will learn how to perform search query in MongoDB. Yes, we will see how to write a search query to search any record inside MongoDB. So guys, let's get started. So here is the agenda and the topics are mentioned here in this notepad. So we will follow this notepad step by step and we will see practical approach how to do it okay guys first of all you have to open the command prompt as administrator please note that you have to open as an administrator okay after that we have to check that our mongodb server is running or not so we have to type the command net start mongodb okay okay this will show you a message that uh, if a service is started so you will get the service has already been started otherwise your service will be started for you okay now we have to open the mongo shell because we have seen previous videos so anything we have to perform we will perform on mongo shell so what we have to do we have to go inside the bin folder okay so we will see for the installation folder of mongodb here we are so inside the server and this is the mongodb bin folder so just copy the path from here and come back on the console and type cd do the right click hit enter you are inside the bin folder now you have to type simple command mongo hit enter and your mongo shell will be launched here and this is ready to use right now okay guys now coming back on this agenda list so first of all we will see how to uh, apply a find how to do a search on documents in mongodb database suppose guys uh, we have a student collection uh, okay and in current working db and inside the students we have so many documents okay so we will first display all the documents which are inside the students collection okay so first we will see the demo of this thing how we will do on the this mongo shell so first of all we will check on which database we are working so guys just type db and you will see the current working db is test now this is not our targeted db and we have to sh show all dbs so just type this command and you will get the result okay now we will pick our database so type the command use and type the name of the database my company hit enter and you will be switched to the target database now we are working on the my company database okay now here the first step we will see how to display all the documents which are inside the collection okay so let me set this in parallel so this will be easy to see okay now it's command is very straightforward this is the command db dot students dot find so after the db dot you have to give the name of the collection okay so right here let me check how many collections we have in our database so you can type the command to display all the collections type the collections hit enter and you will see we have students first collection and the second collection is employee now we will execute our command db dot students dot find okay so this command will show you all the documents which are present inside the students collection hit enter and guys see the magic so you can see the results here we have uh, these documents inside first and this is the second and this is the fourth fifth and sixth so these documents we have inside the collection okay so right now we have checked how many documents we have inside so in, inside this collection so we will use the find method to display all this stuff i hope this is clear to you now we will see the point two okay so point two is about like uh, we can print the more formatted output on the console with the help of this way this is very simple and uh, we will use this previous command after that we will put 
dot and we will use for each method and inside this we have to give the argument as a print json okay so once you type this command so your output will be more readable it will be print like a json style on the console let me show you it's easy okay now here we go db dot students dot find dot for each and then type print json this is the command to display the things in a json format hit enter guys see the magic so here the first document and the second document third document and this is fourth and uh, this is fifth so this will be printed in the json style okay so this is very useful thing you can uh, if you are exploring something and you are analyzing the data so you can find the records and print in such a way that will be more readable to you okay now there's another way another command which is uh, very easy and that will give the same results as we have seen in the above command so simply you have to type the pretty okay as a method calling so type the db dot students okay dot find find to display all the records and now type the pretty to display all the records on a very pretty format just enter and you will see the result so the results are same as we have achieved from the previous command so guys this is the way you can find the records inside the collection and display in a very readable format okay now we're moving to the next point so here we will uh, learn how to do a query on document based on a particular criteria so just think about that in the relational database you are going to write some query and uh, you have to find out the person which has a name as a parameter so you will use the where clause so i will show you the same things here how we can perform these criteria inside the mongo db to find the document okay let me close this thing and we'll back here this is the search criteria so we will start the search criteria from the very first okay so we are looking for the equality criteria so how we will do that so syntax is very simple guys syntax is here so simply what you have to write you have to write db dot and here is the collection name in which you want to find something calling the find method and inside this we have to give the key and value okay so suppose uh, you are writing the query for the relational database so in a where clause you have to give the field name and you are have to give the search value okay so same way we have to write here so the syntax will be same up to the find and inside this we have to give the key and value suppose we have to find a person which has a name sam okay so how we will find this we have to write this thing db dot students dot find this is the field name and which has a value sam so this will fetch the records which has a name sam okay and pretty is using to display the result in a proper readable format okay so let me uh, type the command db dot students dot find bracket open put a curly braces and name uh, which has name sam so we are looking for the sam in the collection okay now close the bracket type and type pretty function calling here hit enter and guys you see the results one record is found which has a name sam and that will be returned by this command okay so this is the way you can find the record by using the equality criteria 
okay where the name is equal to sam so the same thing is written here in the mongodb search okay so this command is similar in uh, sql where name is equal to sam okay i hope this is clear to you now we will see another criteria which is greater than suppose you are trying to find a record or number uh, set you are giving the equality or comparison that this must be greater than to the certain value so here is the situation where we are searching the student which has a age greater than 25 okay so what is the syntax so guys syntax is written here it's simple come here inside the find rest of the thing will be same as we have seen in the first step okay now inside this we have to give the criteria value so you have to give the field colon then put a curly braces inside this you have to use dollar gt that means greater than where age is equal to where age is greater than 25 so this is the criteria that we are passing here okay close the curly braces close the bracket and pretty to display the output in a readable format it's simple only the thing is the criteria value how to pass the criteria value. This, this is the way you can pass the criteria value so here we are going to fetch the records which has a age age greater than 25 okay so let me uh, write this uh, here right here on the mongo shell so we are searching the records inside the students and doing the find put a bracket put this age and again the curly braces and we have to type the gt this is the search criteria value is 25 and this is closed and curly braces closed again bracket closed dot pretty to display output in a proper readable format like function calling and you will see and guys you can see one record is written so there's a student which has an age greater than 25 so student is ricky and the age is 26 so this is the way you can use the greater than criteria in mongodb to search any record inside the collection okay i hope this is clear to you guys and now we are moving on the third criteria so this is the less than criteria it is simple and it is just same as the greater than criteria so here you have to type different thing which is lt which is the less than criteria and the syntax will be the same for searching the records okay uh, okay now moving uh, to the next one so there is a greater than equals criteria so here the syntax will be the same but uh, what we are achieving we are uh, applying the greater than equal to criteria that means we are searching for the age which is greater than 22 or equal to 22 so we have to simply type dollar gte only this difference is there okay the rest of the command will be same as we have seen the previous okay so just type this thing and you will get the records which are equal greater than equals to the given value okay in the same way we have a less than equals criteria so we have to type the lte it's a very simple and straightforward and you have to use the same command to find the record which are less than equal to okay so this is the less than equal to criteria things i hope guys uh, this is clear to you if you have doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys you can try this uh, criteria on your own so be good understanding on the whole concept so if you found this video useful so please like this video and please share with your friends and guys uh, please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so you will get the upcoming videos tutorials on mongodb and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help